first thing you have to do before you work on any plumbing supply line is turn off the water. It's a simple matter of turning a knob. The first place to look is at the water meter. All houses have a cutoff valve at the meter, usually one that looks like an outdoor spigot. Sometimes there's a cutoff on each side of the meter. Either will do the trick. There's no need to shut down the water with both valves. Turn the knob clockwise until it stops to cut off the water. An unfortunate consequence of water, mineral deposits, and metal is that the valve sometimes gets stuck. If this happens to you, spray the stem of the valve with a penetrating lubricant like WD-40. Wait a few minutes and try again. You can minimize the problem of sticky valves when you turn on the water again. Turn the valve clockwise until it stops and then turn it counterclockwise about a quarter turn. This minimizes the metal-to-metal -metal contact and almost always keeps the valve from getting stuck. Sometimes the valve will begin to leak around the stem as the result of turning the water on and off. If it does, tighten the packing nut a bit to stop the dripping. A disadvantage of cutting the water off at the meter is that it cuts off water to the entire house. You may be fixing a minor drip in the kitchen faucet, but you've knocked out the water to the shower, the toilet, the dishwasher, the washing machine, and everything else in the house. Newer homes have cutoffs at the sinks, dishwasher, toilet, tub, anywhere there's supposed to be water. Older homes may or may not have cutoffs. In the kitchen, look under the sink for a cutoff to each faucet and to the dishwasher. In the bathroom, look for cutoff valves under the sink and where the supply line enters the toilet. The shutoffs for the tub usually are in the wall behind the faucets. That may take you into one of the bedrooms, into a built-in closet, or simply to a panel that screws into the wall. The cutoffs for the washer are the easiest to find. They're right above the washer. No matter where you find the cutoff, the rules are pretty much the same. Turn the handle clockwise to cut off the water. Turn it counterclockwise to turn the water on again. To keep the valve from sticking, turn it all the way clockwise and then about a quarter turn counterclockwise. If the valve leaks around the stem, tighten the packing nut. 